I am Trey Adcock. I am hopefully in my final year of um, the PhD program in the Triple C's. Um, basically, my dissertation is focusing on the integration of technology at an American Indian boarding school. Um, the, ti the title, as it stands now, um, is uh, No Feathers Necessary Technology Integration at American Indian Boarding School. And there's, you know, a multitude of things going on in that. Um, most certainly, I am um, using a methodology of portraiture to sort of document the everyday struggle to integrate technology into the classroom. I think what makes it unique somewhat is that it's an American Indian boarding school and that legacy um, in terms of American Indian education and the yeah, fact that it's a boarding school, that legacy is very problematic. Um, I think schools, I think you would find a lot of people in American Indian education to say that schools were um, a tool of the state to assimilate. Um, so you had the Plain Wars going on during the 19th century. Um, I am a Cherokee citizen. My family was forced to migrate out of um, uh, Georgia and North Alabama um, into uh, Indian territory, what is now um, Oklahoma. So that's where my Indian connection comes. But you know, this is all going on in the 19th century. Removal of the Cherokees and the other southeastern tribes, um, the Plains Wars, and um, then you have these nations like the Cherokees moving to Oklahoma and then rebuilding. And education, so education is a tool of assimilation from the dominant group. And then it's also a nation, build, nation building exercise for the Cherokee Nation. And so that spirit sort of continues today. I think what's interesting about my project, and obviously I'm, I'm geeking out over it because it's my project, right? But um, is that in a lot of ways um, they've infused technology at every level of teaching um, and learning. Have a one-to-one -one initiative. Every seventh and eighth grader now has iPad twos. Um, they have MacBooks. Um, they have smart boards. I mean, they are fully integrated. Um, but the struggle is to do it effectively, right? Um, and so, what's really cool, I think, is that they've turned the notion of American Indian boarding school on its head, um, from one of assimilation, um, from one representing a, you know. A really problematic history to now one of innovation, of hope, of success. Um, the school that I'm working at has had 44 Gate Scholars um, in the last, you know, seven years. Um, uh, they're producing kids into the Ivy League schools throughout the country, and so technology is playing a key role in that. So that's really what my um, dissertation is about. On one hand, the other part of it that I really find interesting too is sort of combating uh, a lot of stereotypes of Indians um, that have been constructed through school curriculum. Um, that have been constructed through media. And so I think by detailing the everyday lives of these teachers, in some ways I'm combating uh, the notion that Indians are ahistorical, that are without technology. Um, and I really hope to sort of, I hope the reader, after they read my dissertation, if anyone reads it besides my, my parents, um, I really hope they take away um, an experience where they, they, they see Indians different. They see us as um, participants in the 21st century, as struggling like everyone else um, to do what's best for their students. And so, I, you know, it's a double meaning. I'm very interested in it, but that's just a little bit of a foundation um, of where my work's gone. And, you know, just really quickly to end, um, I just recently did a, uh, a presentation at the North Carolina Social Studies Conference uh, on Learn and See um, and the new American Indian Curriculum Guide that's been produced by the American Indian Center on campus in conjunction with Learn and See. Um, and it was really great. We had educators, Indian and non-Indian, um, come and uh, explore the curriculum guide with us and it was really cool because it's, it's really the first time that tribes have written their own history um, and I'm sure you know this but like you know m most often you know curricular materials in schools um, are written by the dominant group about the other um, and so this is a really cool project because the tribes have taken ownership and they've written their histories. They've chosen what materials to include and they're, they're challenging those stereotypes and um, it's a really meaningful project.